Hi guys, I'm back here today with Robbie Robinson and you see we have a very interesting topic. I think a lot of people will find it very interesting. Yeah, wait for that. This will be not a suggestion or anything. This is just that we talk with Robbie about his attitude or experience. Hi Robbie. Hey lady, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm excited to have another interview or talk with you mm -hmm. and a lot of people um, I know ask you about this topic and you said you want to give some um, yeah, knowledge about that or how you see things. You know, steroids is a, a very hot topic in bodybuilding. That is the thing that people talk about the most. They want to know what to use, when to use, how much you use. And to me, I think it's, I don't think it's a good thing to even think about. I think you should definitely get in there and do all the hard work first. Build yourself a natural muscular foundation. Learn how to eat for optimum health. Definitely include supplementation and protein in your mix. I think it should be a basic six, seven meals per day, small meals. Because I think bodybuilders eat too much. If you're eating that kind of food, a liter of this or a pound of this or whatever, uh, preparing your body to build muscle, it's never going to happen because you're stressing the body too much. You're stressing the digestive. Well, steroids is the main topic here today because of the fact that I've used steroids. I used them back in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I used them as a matter of fact for probably 24, 25 years, back to back, but for only eight weeks. And see, that I think which is what saved me, maybe from not getting liver cancer or some problem with my liver or my kidney, you know, like a lot of the guys have done, you know, in, in, the, in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s. So I thought if you're going to use these products, you should know something about it. And that's what I want to kind of touch on today, steroid, the topic of steroid. When I use steroids, I only use Dacker the Rob. This is not a suggestion to tell anybody to use this product. I'm just giving you some sense and what happens when you do use them. Decker and Robin stays in your body for 17 or 18 months. So if you're going to use a drug like that, I mean, for, it's going to be in your body for sales for two years. Then you got a whole number of other products that's uh, steroid that people use, like Trent, Trent Acetate, Trent Anthony, uh, testosterone, C uh, Depot, testosterone, uh, Anthony, all these different drugs, just not going to build you that, that amazing physique. It's just hard work. You can use these chemicals, as again, it's not a suggestion, when you use these chemicals, you have the first thing, think of, of your blood work, get some blood work done, so you know exactly what is happening in your blood and what could happen if you have already illness within your body cell. So mm -hmm. it makes sense to get your blood work done. I mean, definitely, again, I'm going back over the optimal nutrition, and without the optimal nutrition, you'll never build a physique. You can do whatever you want. Steroid is only a chemical that enhances the body to retain more water in the cells. I don't think it really builds muscle to a degree, but it does help you build a certain amount of muscle if you're eating, as I say, optimal nutrition, water, supplementation, the right balance of protein, carbs, and fat. You need all these juices to actually help make something like a steroid work. I went through it back in the 70s. It was a learning experience. Uh, my first time taking a steroid at the Prima Bowling Depot. But in that process, I didn't know because then nobody had done any blood work on me. I didn't know that I had sickle cell anemia. And in that process, by the time the first injection or that first shot, I remember walking from my uh, from the Gold Gym, which is right here on Pacific, to my home, and I felt my body just seemed to just blow up like a balloon. I thought, wow, that's incredible. I felt harder, more toner, more muscular. But I was preparing for the Mr. World competition in New York at that time. So in that process, by the time I got home, walking through the door, I crumbled to my knees because I didn't know again that when you take a drug like that and it hits your bloodstream, it increases the size of the blood cell my body wasn't prepared for. Mm -hmm. So in that process, I almost pretty much killed myself pretty much. Or caused a, what they call it, a sickle cell crisis. That's what they call it. And to this day, I still think about that because of the fact that it could have caused me a lot of, I mean, health issues. And I do believe that when you use these chemicals, it's very important, again, to emphasize it again and again, get your blood work done. Find someone that will help you learn how to eat for optimum nutrition. Find someone that will help you with your training. 
teach you the right exercise forms and techniques. All of this stuff is very important. Steroids is just something that you want to include in that whole mix to help your body look a certain way. It does not do the work. Posing does the work. Very intense training session does the work. As again, optimal nutrition does the work. And you get all these things in a certain balance, and when you use these chemicals, now you might see some amazing results. But each time you use them, your body is going to go through a change. And if you're not really in there trying to find out exactly how your body works, then you're going to have a problem. I have a question. Sure. I, I always thought um, that people um, think it's bigger than it is. I thought it improves you maybe 10, 15 percent. Can 10%, you? 10 percent, 15 percent. But the rest of it is hard work, yeah. optimal nutrition. And if you don't have all those three or four balanced out accurately, yeah. your body's not going to be able to build muscle. You can't overeat to build muscle. It's not going to happen. You're just wasting your time. All you guys are there trying to eat, 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 eat. And it does not work. You have to have optimal nutrition, small meals, five, six, seven meals a day. I mean, on time. Don't be playing around with it. Stop you know, playing with yourself because that's what you're doing. You're never going to reach that goal that you're trying to seek. Spending in the gym for two, three hours working a muscle group? I don't think so. Sex, sex, uh, testosterone and anthony trend and all these things aren't going to help you get to that next level. It's all optimal nutrition, training, eating, resting, and having a positive state of mind. I found that always sad when people um, talked about it or shared that they take some steroids and I saw that the workout is not very good, what they are doing, or they do always the same exercises, or no barbells, no dumbbells, so it will never bring a good physique, right? That is, that's how I feel about it. I mean, you can, you, you gotta handle that hard, cold steel yeah. consistently. If you're not focusing on using that iron, it's not gonna happen. Do it exercise and training, trying to build your body with machines, you're just wasting your time. Um, the machines are okay, okay, but if you, I think it should be something you're going to use when you're having a down day or a slow day, something like that. But that's when you're talking about building muscle, you got to go into little barbells, dumbbells, and cables. Sorry. So can I say that this um, steroids bring me only strength, and if I don't use it in my workouts, um, it has no advantage for me? I think the, the only advantage I can see is that it helps your body retain a certain amount of water in cells. I think it also does have an effect on you retaining a certain amount of strength. But I also think that comes from, again, of the nutrition, a lot of rest. The body doesn't peel muscle when you're trained. It builds muscle when you're resting. The more you rest, again, of the nutrition, eating, taking this, these different uh, uh, steroids throughout that training session, 90 days. You need 90 days to prepare yourself for a competition. I have another question. Sure. Uh, I saw guys and they look very hard and, and full, mm -hmm. uh, let me say for eight weeks or 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And after that, they looked like you put a needle in a balloon and the, the air comes out. They look like before. So did they uh, make mistakes? I think a lot of people forget how important it is when you're preparing for a competition. And especially that last probably six to eight weeks, mm -hmm. you have to keep the waist heavy. Okay. You can't go back and start using machines to build your muscle. You got to get back on those hard, cold, stiff barbells, dumbbells, cables. And if you're not putting that effort into all of that consistently, my workouts for chest is a small muscle group. I only spend 45 minutes. But I'm moving. I'm not in there yakking and on the phone and talking about this, playing with my training partner, hitting him. I'm focusing on what I'm trying to get done. And I think that's what I, what I see in the gym today. It's all lost. Everybody is a movie star with the cameras and the phones and all this. It just takes away from what you're really trying to get done, and that's to build muscle. You know, I, I think insulin and growth hormone has really raped the sport. Really. Yeah. I think it's really raped it in a sense of people taking all of this stuff, and they don't realize that what the bodybuilders are putting on the internet in their movies and stuff is that you can eat like that, but they're taking growth hormone and insulin. Yeah. That carry that body over to the next level. They're training you, but they're not telling you, hey, John, listen, I take steroids. I take insulin. I take growth hormone. That growth hormone, if you're eating four or five chicken breasts, it's going to help you bring it up to a degree. But if you look at some of the physicians today, everybody got obliques. Everybody got stomach. That's why, because the body cannot break all that food down, even if you're using insulin and growth hormone. 
Oh, you remember I shared with you, I see young couple, they both work out and she maybe has no clue and makes a cheating day and blows up and gain body fat and he has a better metabolism because of the steroids he takes. So mm -hmm. that is what we talked about, that women who are in a relationship with a bodybuilder should not compare and, and think they can eat a pizza and donuts and everything. It's not possible. Yeah. You have to heed to optimal nutrition. Everybody want to say on the internet, oh, no way Robbie can look like that because he must be on testosterone. I wouldn't waste my money on no testosterone preparation and I wouldn't go to no doctor. There's no doctor out there could say anything about Robbie Robbins to take testosterone. I wouldn't waste my time with it. I'm an older bodybuilder that has kept my foundation. I've dieted myself down to the body that you see today. I work hard. I don't play around with it. I'm intense in my workouts with the chest, which is a small muscle group, 45 minutes. My back, leg, and quad days are always anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour. I mean, 55 minutes and an hour. And I stay into that day. I'm a clock watcher. I watch what I'm doing, timeable. My rest period between the sets. The longer the rest period between the sets, you give that body check. You, you're kind of taken away from building muscle. So I can say the sickle cell anemia was in a way rescuing you because you you would be already dead if you had done that, <laughs> yeah. right? People have to understand that. If I were using steroids, I used 20 the steroids for almost 25, 26 years, say 27 years when I retired 2001. I used them right up to the time I kept, but I was smart enough to say, hey, I don't need to take all of this stuff. I don't need to do this on a consistent basis to maintain a certain amount of muscle. I need to go in that gym and train. I had already had great genetics. Having great genetics kind of give you an edge anyway. I did not want to end up with kidney problems, liver problems, problems with what my, my insulin. I just really didn't want to. I wanted to come out of it healthy. But it, it, over that time period, I wanted to be able to rebuild my physique. The people are saying on the internet, it's 12 years of hard, intense work. And that's what my physique looks like it looks today. When I get 80, my 74th birthday is coming up, I'm gonna still look the same. Yeah, now you brought me to a new topic or a new question. I think one of your secrets, if we can um, talk about your secrets, what I see mm -hmm. is that you took a lot of herbs to balance the toxic steroids, right? Yeah, I, 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 I felt that steroids was a part of it, but I thought it was, there was a certain amount, of what, the right amount. It's almost like having, when I have a meal, like in the morning I have my eggs. I have six eggs, a nice piece of sesame seed toast with cashew butter, a bowl of oats with pineapple. To me, that's the perfect bodybuilder's meal. Okay, when I get close to the competition or close to an exhibition, so I drop the bread, I have my oats, pineapple, eggs, cashew butter. So you have to be able to dial yourself down into it to get that professional bodybuilder look on stage. Could you give us maybe one, two or three herbs in a short way, which are good? I think one of the things that has also saved me was milk thistle. Milk, milk thistle definitely regenerates, helps your bones, it helps the heart, it helps the body, it helps cleanse the liver, it cleanse the kidneys. So it gives you a foundation of strength, regeneration. And see, bodybuilders have gotten away from all this stuff and they use a lot more chemicals and they're possibly they're forgetting that, hey, this can create liver problems, kidney problems, heart problems. Like a number of the bodybuilders have just passed away recently. Mm -hmm. Dallas, I mean, Piani, I mean, come on now, Mike Maserati. These people are dropping dead and I'm, and I'm still here. That's how I see it. So I know I made the right decision, backing off all of that stuff as I've decided to retire from bodybuilding. You have to think about your health. That's, health is wealth to me. Give That's me. what I thought. I wanted to come out of bodybuilding healthy and wealthy. I'm nosy. Can you give me two or uh, two more herbs? What do you an say? Another herb I use and include in my thing is, is Siberian ginseng. Uh -huh. I use Gota Cola. I use Dong Quok. I use Damiana. But all these herbs help create um, a certain amount of testosterone in your body. Yeah. And I've been using these things for 50 years. I, I've always thought of using something like Hawthorn berry. Uh -huh. Hawthorn berry exercises the arteries. See, it helps keep the cholesterol broken up so the body it can flush it out of the body. I've used uh, things like um, what is it? Um, Damiana. Damiana is a testosterone herb. I've used sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla is a testosterone herb. And taking all these herbs in a certain order keeps the testosterone level at a certain high peak. Yeah. So that is a great. Um, um 
tip for your fans who follow you and don't want to take any um, medications yeah, here, I mean, right? You, you can use these herbs because they do work. Yeah. You have to give it time for the body to adjust to start creating. Astrologer. Astrologer is one of the best herbs you can take. It raises your body heat, it raises metabolism so that your body can uh, 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 burn off more fat. It takes the body into a whole other level of just generating your own natural hormones like testosterone, like GH. See, that's what it does. That's what you're trying to do, get your body it's all inside of us. So we, what we have to do is learn how to trigger the release of all these hormones. And that's what I've been able to accomplish. I have another thing, maybe you are open to talk about sure. that. Uh, we talked about, without um, saying names here, but we talked about people who are bodybuilders and they have a relationship. You know, I think I had an encounter when I was younger, back in the 70s, that um, I was dating a young lady and in that process of that. Those chemicals are in your blood, they're in your, your body mucuses. You might not think so, but they are. And during that time period, I was taking uh, what is it, Decaderabin. Decaderabin is the strongest drug that you could probably take. It's really the only drug. Everybody say it messes with you not being able to get an erection, but I don't think so. I'm sorry, I didn't have it. But my body grew from Decaderabin. And I was able to maintain that muscle mass for years because it is the most powerful antibiotic that you can take. Again, I'm not suggesting anyone to take that. That's not why I'm doing it. I want to educate people about the importance of it. The one that if you're going to use, use something, use it but make sure you're getting results from it. A lot of things like testosterone is on your body for three months. I, I, I don't believe in taking testosterone. But the drugs are in my, how do you call, I uh, mean that this saliva? In, your, in, your, in, your saliva. in my blood? In your body, exactly. In my... I'm, I'm 73 years old, going on 74. My testosterone level is 595. That is unheard of for a 73 year old person. But I also takes care of it with the herds. Sarsaparilla, Damiana, Goldicola, um, uh, what is it, uh, sarsaparilla. All these herbs help generate and restore the body to produce its own natural testosterone naturally. So I totally believe in the fact that herbs do work, but you have to practice it just like anything else. Uh -huh. What I want to say before I leave is that, you know, get your blood work done now. Yeah. Get someone that will help you to find the right amount of protein, carbs, and fat that you can eat that will regenerate and multiply your own body cell. I mean, drink a lot more water. I mean, get your rest. I mean, optimal nutrition is the most important part. If you're not getting enough rest, your body muscles are not going to grow. Seven, eight hours a night, I think that's what I try to accomplish. I mean, making sure I stay on top of my health. Your health is more important. At least every now and then, go and get yourself a physical. To find out exactly where your body works are. Your body think, uh, 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 your overall body is. So in that process, you come out of it healthy. I've been in this world for 73 years. When I retired in 2001, I, I, I wanted to become a new bodybuilder, not the bodybuilder that I was as a I wanted to create a whole new body to maintain the body that I have right now. I'm very proud of what I've accomplished with you. You can't build your body without an about yourself. And all the guys that think I'm testosterone, I wouldn't waste my money. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.